Now, when you think of a martial arts expert, you probably picture someone like Bruce Lee. Well, from today onwards, the name you're going to be remembering is Ed Martin. He's a 73-year-old ninjutsu master. In fact, he's a 15 Dan, which is 15 times higher than Black Belt. As a part of Seniors Week, Ed is passing on his self-defense knowledge to others. And let me tell you, age has nothing to do with self. I'm just going to stay with my camera. <laughs> I was looking for Ed. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking Look, where is he? <laughs> Ed is impossible to spot. He moves quickly, If you he? hear something, <laughs> look the other way. Sorry about it's that. It's like the wind. <laughs> we got a little introduction for Ed, though. Yeah. Good. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. Now, Ed Martin is definitely not your average 73-year-old. Fondly known as Papa-san, right, he is one of the most highly ranked ninjutsu masters in the world. Not everybody's big, not everybody's strong, and not everybody could do that. But it has nothing to do with size and strength. Ed's travelled down under to help our seniors learn the art of self-defence. So that's a very simple thing to do, right down on their foot with that. This is even simpler. I don't know how active all of you are, but this is a very good way to use a cane, too. No problem, sir. Look what happens. You. <laughs> we, we try to coach them to take advantage of what they do have. You know, the fact that many seniors do use a walking stick or a cane. This is an asset. You can use it. The person grabs me. Right, and I've got my, my pen here, and I just put into the back of his hand. I mean, one of the things, as I was speaking to uh, some of the people after the, um, the, the workshop today, is that they, I didn't know I could do something like that so easily. Right? And knowing that uh, something as simple as a stomp on the foot or a poke in the eye can actually save your life. And I've got two hips that are artificial hips, and I've got it. I just had open heart surgery last February, so, you know, a year ago, so. I, I know where you, where you guys are, you know, I, I, I'm there too. I've been warned about um, attackers and elderly people. And so I thought, well, if there's anything to learn, I'll come along and see. And I have learned something. It is too small for us to apply a great deal of leverage on, but it's got two hard ends, right? Uh, and we can do exactly what we were saying before, just like the pen, is using a hard thing against a sensitive area. Well, I've got to buy myself a cane. Yes, and get myself a knuckle, knuckle buster. And I think I'll be right. <laughs> yes. And we're pleased good. to say that Ed Martin joins us in the studio now. Welcome, Ed. It's my pleasure to be here. Or Papa-san, as I call you. <laughs> <laughs> now, can anybody do this, or, you know, in any, of any age? Absolutely. The, the, the misconception that people have about self-defense, and martial art in general, is that it takes size and strength. It doesn't. All it takes is knowledge. All anybody right. anybody can gain knowledge. Well, you, you have a, a wealth of knowledge. 15, Dan, is umpteen levels above black belt. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's been a lifetime of interest for you, hasn't it? It's been a fascinating study, and it's been a fascinating journey. I, I thoroughly enjoy doing this, because one of the things I like to, I'd like to see is people on a general basis have the skills so they can feel safe and so they can protect themselves. But the only guarantee you have of you being safe is if you have the skills. Where does all the folklore about ninjas come from, of the invisibility and being assassins? And I mean, um, you, you can't make yourself invisible, can you? No. Ed? <laughs> what the ninja did that created that mystique was they would dig a pit along the trail, fill it with ashes, and then they'd run down the trail, and when the other person's attention was diverted, they'd dive into the ashes, and you'd get the smoke. Ah. And they would no longer be visible. So do you have some of these ninja secrets to show to us today? Because we'd love to see some. <laughs> what have you organized for us, Ed? Well, I thought I'd show you some of the things with the cane. And one yeah. of the reasons the cane is something that is a medical implement. Yeah. It goes with you anywhere. Sure. No one can take it from you. And no one can tell you whether or not you need it. It also makes you appear less capable. You never want to warn people what you're capable of. Or you always okay. want it to be a surprise. So, Cameron, are you up for attacking Ed? Because I'm Is that what you scared. want me to do? <laughs> uh, maybe I, I, we'll get one of the experts to attack Ed. I, I, can, I can be very gentle with it, but if... Uh, no, no, no. Let's, let's get one of the experienced guys to see, do it. If he throws a punch at me and me I move here, this is... 
Okay, so what do you do? What did, can you do that in slow motion for me? Okay, what I'm doing is I'm passing this behind my back, moving off the line, and catching with the ah. hook right here. So you, but that, you really ribs. have to be quite prepared for an attack there, I guess. Or if you just got to be quick. You just move. Mm. It's muscle memory. It's the thing is, if you train yourself long enough, you'll get the muscle memory and you just respond. You don't think about it. Edby, what did you do in to, to uh, meet little Rafaela, who's from Sydney? Rafaela, come <laughs> in here. Because uh, she is on a long path with martial arts. And she's, yes, she is. She's, doing and she's very, already very well. doing very well. She's a gorgeous she's little girl. And Rafaela, you must be feeling a lot more confident about things since you started doing martial arts. Can you show us some of your flexibility? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. And the back arch. That, that is flex. Look at that. That's oh, fantastic. unbelievable. And what about a little attack, Raffaella? What would happen if um, some like tried to mess with you in the schoolyard? What would happen? Come here. You. Oh, that's done right. for him. Put that guy down. Good work. You've got to understand what that on the ear does. Yeah. If you slap the ears with a cup thing on the ears... It's very disoriented. You can destroy the eardrums. Yeah. You destroy their balance. You give them a real physical problem. So it's not just a, a light tap she's doing. She would really slap the ears like this. All right, give us another tip, uh, because, you know, a lot of seniors would be finding you pretty inspiring today, I think, that um, not only because you've got a great head of hair, Ed, but because <laughs> you're, you're, a, lot of, a lot of seniors live in fear of attack. They, they feel that the world is moving past them and they, they're, they're a bit more vulnerable than they used to be. And this is such a shame. No one should have to live in fear. Hmm. A senior has gotten to those years in life by contributing to society for a long time. Why should they then have the quality of their life destroyed? Yeah, well, let's let's see. Let's have another demonstration of uh, of uh, a street example of what could happen. Oh, this guy looks bad. Watch out! Watch out, Ed. Here he comes. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez, he went down quick. Oh wow! Tap out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Did that hurt? You're all right. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Ed, has anybody ever really tried to have a go at you? One time it was close, but I said. My friend, you don't want to do this. Yeah, <laughs> and that was enough. And when they move, I, I move just like this. And I moved, and I just touched Nick no harder than that. He actually jumped back and said, I'm going to get my gun and blow you away. And I said, that sounds like a terrorist threat. That's illegal. And the man just collapsed. Really? Yeah, he said, wow. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I don't have one. I'll open the trunk of my car, and I'll show you I don't have one. And that was the end of it. Stick around. We want you to do our negotiating for us in the future. <laughs> Ed, you're here for Seniors Week. It's great to have you on our shores, but you've, you've come down here quite often, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah. I very much enjoy coming to Australia. I like the people here. Oh, we love I to like, have I you. I like their attitude about things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Ed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Try a few of those moves. Exactly. Well, still ahead, we're going to take a closer look at the new...